What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie. Today, I just got back from a seven and a half kilometer walk, run, whatever you want to call it. So I'm a little red faced, but I don't care. We're going to do this anyways, because I want to talk about this pen right here, the Bennu Talisman Edelweiss. But before I get into that, I do have to say a gigantic thank you to Pen Heaven, www.penheaven.com. I don't know if you can really read that, but if you can, pause. Uh, the links to Pen Heaven will be down in the description below. Uh, these guys reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to review some stuff. And I said, uh, yeah, uh-huh, totally, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, so they sent this pen for me to review. So I did not pay for this pen. Uh, however, I'm not being paid for the review. Um, so everything that I talk about, you know, from here on out is completely my own opinion. Uh, they're not asking me to speak highly or negatively of anything. So let's get to it. Uh, so this pen is the Talisman model. Uh, there are many models that Bennu does. Um, I do already have a review of the Bennu Euphoria Bourbon, um, and I am thinking I'm going to do a comparison between the two because there's a lot of similarities, but a few key differences. Um, so I'm really thinking about doing that. Let me know in the comment section down below if that's something that you would like to see. Uh, this is a pen that I have had my eye on for some time now, uh, ever since I did get that Euphoria, because spoiler, if you haven't watched that review, it's dynamite, and it is one of my all-time favorite pens, period. Uh, and I didn't get into the Bennu brand for a long time because they're very flashy. <laughs> They are not afraid to make a statement with their pens. Uh, it is definitely not something that you can write with that is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, quiet. Um, you know, you, you can't just hide in the corner and, and, and be a little fountain pen nerd. If you're using this pen, everybody's going to know it. Um, so just be aware. Um, but the Talisman model is one of their newer models, uh, and this specific finish is the Edelweiss. Um, the Talisman is basically, uh, like symbolizes something that you can hold on to that means something. Um, and the Edelweiss is actually a plant that supposedly, you know, symbolizes eternal love. Um, I don't believe in talismans personally, so I'm not going to go too heavy into that. Um, but there is a whole lore behind the talisman ideas, and each finish that they have uh, represents something else. Um, this specific pen does cost 128 US dollars. Um, it is a little bit more this finish than the others because the. Um, blue parts that are actually kind of like clear and white in in reality uh, in, in real in real life uh, but on youtube and my camera it kind of looks a little bit more blue um these are actually glow in the dark uh so that material that they infuse in their resin because this is a resin pen um, obviously costs a little bit more money um, and that's why it is a little bit more expensive than the other models that don't glow in the dark. Is that a make or break thing for me? Absolutely not. Visually, I just like this style. Um, so I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is flip the camera around and show you some closer details. Okay, so the gloriousness that is the Bennu Edelweiss. Just look at that glimmery goodness. <laughs> All right, so top down. Actually, let me take off, remove the pen so I can show you. Top down, you've got a little bit of the silver glitter within the sort of white blue glow-in-the-dark <laughs> shimmer here um, and then it kind of like translates down into a uh, pure black resin that has like some silver sparkle that's super iridescent and really bounces the light it's so crazy <laughs> uh, the clip I really like the Benus clip it's nothing fancy it's just straight 
solid plain steel but what I like is that uh, you can press the top to lift the actual clip and there's a little cutout which is difficult to see very difficult to see but there's a little cutout for the uh, clip piece to rest in and I apologize that my nails are trash uh, I have to wash my hands a million times a day and uh, well it just destroys my hands um, and then it has the Banu logo imprinted on the cap and it has a lot of these facets in it which is really cool uh, because it means that it doesn't really roll like yes it has a clip to stop but even if you like put it down well that was a bad example but when when you have the pen here let me put it back together when you have the pen in it doesn't roll as much now my desk is not super straight uh, so it's going to roll but I have put it down before and it, it hasn't rolled uh, but the cool thing is that like it gives it a little bit more material a little bit more facets like um uh, opportunities that's the word I was looking for opportunities to really catch the light uh, and allow all of this glimmery shimmery goodness to show through so when it is capped there is a bit of a step down to the body itself uh, and it does taper a little bit uh, but I love the fact that the shimmery goodness from here kind of like continues up the pen and each pen is going to look different um, not any pen is going to be identical which is really cool and I really I really like the one that I have like a lot uh, and the back is a flat end with nothing too crazy on it as far as uncapping that's one and that's two almost two and a half turns to uncap it uh, which it does take a lot, um, but I have never really used this one for like quick note taking, so it doesn't really bother me. Fits really well in my hand, uh, but does push to post if you want to, and it posts pretty deeply. Um, I would say probably about an inch and a bit, but it feels really, really, really nice in my hands. Uh, and then you just get black resin. Um, I like the grip section because it's fairly long. It is a bit narrow um, but it is fairly long and it does have a pretty significant flare out so there's no way that your hands are going to go beyond it uh, and the threads here are pretty darn smooth you don't feel it but you do feel this little step up here so if you do hold your pen super super far back you will feel it but it isn't sharp um, so you, you'll still probably be able to get away with it but it's definitely uh, noticeable you unscrew the barrel of the pen it does come with a standard international cartridge and converter so it comes with a long blue cartridge should you decide to use that uh, or you can use the uh, standard international cartridge uh, you can also eyedropper this pen because everything is completely sealed everything is plastic um, and there's no metal whatsoever so you can do that which is nice because it makes the pen kind of light um, but it's there's still enough material where the, the pen does feel you know very well built I I love the build quality of Benny pens um, I don't know if I would recommend eyedroppering it only because I think you might be able to see a little bit of it through this material um, and it might stain the barrel but if you get a different model that doesn't have like this glow-in-the-dark stuff I think you would probably be fine the nibs themselves are nothing too fancy. Um, it just basically says Schmidt Iridium Point. I don't know if I can get the camera to focus. Again, my hands are very dry. Apologies. Uh, it just says Schmidt Iridium Point. I do kind of wish that Bennu would change that a little bit. Just kind of change it up. But, you know, it is what it is. I got a medium nib, as you can see right in the middle there, it says medium. I went with a medium because I have a fine on my Bennu Euphoria. Uh, and they're both the same nib. They're the number six size nib uh, from Yovo uh, with a plastic feed. The only thing that I really don't like about this pen, and it's, I believe, and I'm I'm 99% sure you know what let's get let's get 100% sure I'm, I have my um, euphoria with me right here 
and I have it inked up currently. I believe it's the same on this one. Yep. So I'm 100% sure now that the same thing I don't like about that pen, I don't like about this pen. And that is this little area right here. So from the grip section down into the nib and feed housing, this little step up here, I don't like that. I don't like that on any pen because when you dip the nib into any bottle of ink, ink does collect there uh, and you have to be really careful when you're cleaning it to get it out. It's not a huge uh, deal breaker for me because it's just an extra step while you're inking up the pen. Uh, but if you don't, man oh man, your fingers are going to get super inky. <laughs> um, but I very much like it. Uh, and it, it feels like a really good size too. Uh, I think this is a, a perfectly manageable size. The Euphoria is much bigger, um, but I feel like this is a perfectly manageable size for uh, the average person. Um, so I'm going to take out my Galen Leather uh, Tomoe River Notebook. It's 52 GSM. And let's do a bit of writing, shall we? Let me focus the camera a little bit. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I was looking at the camera and had the pen twisted. My bad. All right. Um, I have it inked up with an ink that they also sent me, uh, which is Pilot Iroshizuku Shinkai. Yeah, Shinkai. I was like almost about to say that incorrectly, uh, which is just a standard blue, nothing fancy to the ink, um, just a run of the mill blue, solid performer, uh, just like this pen. It is pretty decently wet. I wouldn't say it's a it's a holy moly absolute wow wow gusher, but it is like it it's definitely wet. Um, if you don't like wet pens, the two pens that I've used from Benu and spoiler, I have a third on the way. Um, if you don't like wet pens, so far from my experience, I don't think you would enjoy these pens because they're very they're super wet, and I I love it. <laughs> uh, reverse writing. So it does start to peter out towards the second, but I feel like you could probably continue to go. It is a bit scratchy for sure, um, but you can get from the, the regular medium nib to I would say between an extra fine and fine, but definitely closer to the extra fine on the reverse writer. Um, they are, you know, not flex nibs by, by any stretch of the imagination, but you can get some line variation out of it but it is certainly not what they're meant for. Uh, when you do that though, it it lays on a thick, juicy Mac Daddy amount of ink. I mean, it's really hard to show you, but that's gonna take 18 years to dry. <laughs> um, I have been using this pen now for about a week and a half, um, and I've never, and I've been using it daily as my um, main driver for my journaling. Never had any hard starts, any issues, no skipping, no nothing. Uh, just like my Euphoria, it writes perfectly. Uh, it's nice and smooth with just the tiniest bit of feedback, like just the barest whisper of feedback. Again, I'm using Tomoe River paper. My journal is clear, um, uh, Cosmo Air Light, so it is top tier paper for sure, um, but this pen writes like a dream. <laughs> it just writes like a dream. Um, I was scared of Bennu for a long time uh, for three reasons. One, because their pens are just crazy flashy uh, and I, I didn't love that. It took me a while to get comfortable with that and find the finishes that I found appropriate enough. Um, and two, because it is a bit of a pricier brand for still getting, you know, like a, a, just a basic Schmidt. I said Yovo nib earlier. I, I apologize, but a basic Schmidt nib. Um, but honestly, oh yeah. And then the third reason was it was mostly just because uh, 
there's no availability for it in Canada. I've had to get them abroad. This one came from the UK. This one I ordered from the US. Uh, and the, the one I have on my way is coming from the US as well. So uh, sometimes with import fees, it's it's even worse for the price. <laughs> but guys, Benu is like very quickly becoming one of my favorite pen brands. Like it is insane how awesome these pens are like get your hands on one if you can honestly (laughs) because I don't think you'll be disappointed I really don't if you can get past the flash or find a uh, pen that is like one of their lesser flashy pens uh, if you don't like that then definitely 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 get a Bennu like seriously (laughs) Seriously, um, I love them so stinking much. Um, and they make me excited to write, uh, which is just a bonus. Um, so again, big, big thank you to penheaven.com for sending this to me and reaching out. Uh, their link is in my description below if you want to check them out. Um, if you want to call them, if you want to email them, they are located in the UK. Uh, but yeah, guys, 100% recommend. Absolutely. Uh, so if you like this video, let me know. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. If you want to see more every Monday and Friday and occasional rando on Tuesday, uh, check out the Patreon link in the description below if you want to help support me and what I do here. And also let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see a review video between this talisman and the Euphoria. Guys, if you're still watching this far in, you are the reason I make these videos. And as always, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye. Well, all right, all right, all right. Today it is time to say thank you to all of my Patreons. I am so grateful for you. Today is is July 3rd, so if you do not see or hear your name, uh, just be patient. I update it as soon as I can. So for our ultimate human, we've got Daniel Roddy. And then for my VIPs, we have Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Wei Chang, Brian La, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcourt, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bill Pemberton, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Subi One Kenobi, Bianca Andrews, and Digital Tent Tech, and lastly but not least, McCall Bennett Lawrence. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone, no matter the tier you're in, uh, whether it's bottom or top, does not matter. You all make what I do here possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you.